Now hear me out on this. A video game console. Dude, we sell tacos. Then why do we have a meeting room? Uh... Now what would I do if I was in charge to make my own video game console? Ha! <laughs> look, look, maybe it won't be as bad as you all think it is. I'm not gonna make a console for an already existing brand, because, come on, let's not get too unrealistic. Why would anyone want to hire me? I make YouTube videos. I'll make my own console with my own ideas. I'll make my own design and new features and that kind of thing. Look, it's fun. Now remember, your opinion is not everyone's opinion. And this video is my video expressing my opinion. That's not your opinion. Alright? Let's get into it. Now where to start? Well, I found this mirror somewhere and it could work as a base. We'll just open it. I, I said open it, come on. There we are. This console would have a foldable screen. Now, I know that the foldable phones don't really have the best reception because of the questionable quality of the foldable screen on the devices, but just for once, pretend that this console won't fail, alright? It's a bit like a horizontal DS, but one screen, so nothing like a DS. We have one big screen, just ignore this little thing in the middle. The console won't be as thin as the mirror because... Come on, that's just unrealistic. Just look at my Switch in comparison, that won't fit a thing. Maybe three times as thick, that'll be a little bit more sane. How about some rough specs then? This yet to be named console would spec-wise be a slight upgrade for the Nintendo Switch. A 1080p display, a CPU maybe equivalent to a Core i5, something like that. The controller would be similar to the Switch in the way that it detaches, but that would be more like actual proper controller, something like the Hori Split Pad Pro. But that's not all, these controllers could be held somewhat sideways and used as VR controllers. In VR, of course. Implementing VR would be pretty difficult, I reckon, with the foldable screen and whatnot. And yes, the system will be dockable, with something that's most likely impossible, a wireless HDMI signal. But not proper wireless, more like wireless charging. You have to put the system on a little dock. Here, you'll do. Now how about some software? This is where it gets interesting. The menu would be like... Now, what do I rip off? You know what? I'll be different for once. I'll take the Xbox One's menu, please. Now, we're not talking about the main menu, because, well, I've not lost my sanity yet. We'll take the game menu and actually make it usable. Let's mirror it first, make some icons, and here, that's something to work with. Let's go with the software of the system. The games would be on the left. Active games, like the Switch, would have a blue border. To the right is the menu. Settings, screenshots, shop, that we'll talk about later, calm down, and something weird, an Android icon. Now, this might seem crazy, but I think that you could use a console as a phone as well. You'd just open the Android mode, and you'd have full access to Android. Now, again, I'm not sure that this would even work, but I'm not even sure if the whole console would even be possible at all, let alone any of the individual features. Now, the store would be more than just games lists. Well, it would also be that, but also some different menus. The ROM hack tab. Need I say more? It's a place where people can submit ROM hacks for games that other people could play. If you open a game, you can choose if you want to play the main game or a ROM hack. This would probably lead to many problems in the security department, but not as much problems as a built-in homebrew app. Yes, I know, this would be a nightmare to keep secure, but if handled properly, it could lead to great mods for the software. For the name, we're going to take inspiration from Google and time itself. Minute Pixel. You're probably clapping at your screen because of how brilliant it is. No, I just felt it kind of suited the style of the console I was making. I mean, it's not accurate, but when is any console? Ah yes, the Xbox. Wait, this is just a box. Where's the X? Now, for the games lineup. I'm just going to throw ideas on the table and hope they stick. The launch titles would, for the time being, be a whopping two titles. This is not going well. Now... I've been making a game, and believe me, it's not finished in the slightest, but once it is, it could be a launch title. Its working title is Bobby's Adventure. This would be your run-of-the-mill 2D platformer with a small twist. It's open world. You collect paint, scratch it across the world, and recolor it. What else? 
Well, the hardcore gamers like their light-headed shooters, right? Beep Beep Boom would be a title where cartoon characters battle it out with wacky weapons, like the one I decided to put in the title. The Beep Beep Boom would beep twice and then explode. I know, revolutionary, right? For the second month... Nothing better than a Mario Kart clone, am I right? Minute car, a kart racer with, oh, I don't know, a hub roll or something. I do have some full-fledged ideas, but this is just something I invented on the spot. Well, there you have it. Those are some potential ideas for a future console. Is this thing any better than anything currently on the market right now? No? What do I look like, a professional? Is this thing just something that I wanted to waste a few minutes on? Yes. Thanks for watching to the end. I hear rumours that if you like and subscribe, you'll get a cookie. I don't know about you, but I'm doing it right away.